Sandra. Um, thanks so much for your support of the channel. You're wonderful. Uh, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Rome. As always, I'm going to start with the astrology for the week and then we're going to get into the cards. If you, for some reason, are not interested in the astrology, it's about six minutes in, so you could just skip ahead. Um, there's always an extended reading. And that reading, you continue the message with me and we get deeper and we get more details. So I hope that you'll join me. That link is below. You can also consider joining the Unbound membership here on the channel memberships because then you get unlimited access to all of the extended readings. In addition, you get access to all of the channel perks. So I hope you consider. Um, Libra comes out every single Tuesday um, at 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, and then I have, if you want to join me for daily live chats while I do a general tarot card reading, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation and I'll attach that link above. Hopefully I'll see you there. Um, and yeah, remember to like this video, share it on your social media platforms, and comment below, because you know I love to know. Um, the astrology is very defined and very definitive this week for you, Libra. It's uh, defined primarily by a trine to Saturn and a square to Neptune. Um, happening at the same fucking time. Venus is still in Gemini, which really means you focusing on um, friendships, friendships and trying to not get too deep. But it could also mean that you're trying to be a little bit too diplomatic and make everything work for everybody or make everyone your friend. So be very, very cautious of that. Keep things light. This is a wonderful time for you to travel, not abroad, but take day trips, you know, go a couple hours away. Um, visit friends, have friends visit you. This is a wonderful time, especially to get closer with people who are already wonderful parts of your life. So you, you have long-term friendships with. Celebrate that now. This is a wonderful thing. If any relationships happen for you during this time, it's usually going to start through friendship. So be sure that, you know, so, so remain open, remain open to just enjoying people's company and keeping things light conversation and the way you guys can talk and interact, excuse me, is very important at this time. The trine with Saturn happens almost simultaneously. Well, we, we begin the week with a little, little bit of a, a sextile, so a, a short sextile to Chiron. That's a good relationship for healing, for giving people advice. So you could meet people who need your help or uh, kind of ask you, or you could be drawn to helping people uh, work through some shit, maybe conversations, people call you. This will give you a great amount of pleasure, a great amount of joy, or good ideas on how to encourage people to be their best selves and work through their struggles. Um, and then we have, bam, this square to Neptune, which happens around the same time as the trine to Saturn. The square to Neptune is a very difficult energy between Neptune and Venus because there's just this sense of, and I wrote it down, this sense of only seeing the good in somebody. This sense of not, not being able to really clearly discern or just letting yourself believe. It's almost delusional. It's, but the thing is this, Neptune is in reverse. Um, so it's, it's, I'm sorry, Neptune is in retrograde. So it may be that you're overcompensating and trying too hard to see the good in somebody because what's just been revealed is something that doesn't gel well with what, with why you like them to begin with. And the only thing I can say to that is, can you please trust what you see? Because seeing is not always believing, but when somebody shows you who they are, you have got to believe them. And it will be difficult for you to do this, but if you can pull it off, you can avoid a lot of hardship and a lot of close calls. You know what I'm saying? Um, now with the trine to Saturn happening at the same time, this means that finances are flowing very, very nicely for you guys. Um, it means that uh, things are starting to balance out financially and even people who like are authority figures or um, I don't know, institutions or whatever, paperwork, people just saying yes to you, you know, people approving loans, maybe even in some ways people being willing to give you jobs. This is a great time to generate that kind of momentum around um, financially 
financial increase. However, if there is somebody who tries to be too friendly for, to you and gives you so much, they could easily impress you with, oh, I'll take care of it, I'll handle the bill, and they want something else from you, so don't let it deceive you. Don't let it deceive you. Remember about the pain and the struggle that you went through, especially if this is somebody that you already know and you know, you know, you, you know that they haven't been on your side in the past. Why are they on my side now? It's because they're trying to sell you some shit. So what you should ask yourself is, did I want this before their sales pitch started? Did I even care about it? Probably not. They're probably putting these ideas in your mind. And also a sense of you don't owe anybody anything for their generosity. If somebody's offering you something, accept it. Say thank you. A thanks, gratitude is all you ever owe somebody. You don't have to pay them back or do what they're trying to convince you to do. And if somebody's being too wily or foxy with you, then get the fuck out of there because that's not somebody you want to have in your life anyway. This is just something that you're going to have to be really, really watching for this week. Okay. Okay. And no, I don't really, I don't really mean it with like, uh, uh, it's with anybody. It may not be, you know, with a business offer. You ask for what you want, but um, yeah, it just could be like friends, somebody trying to make friends too fast. It could even be you thinking like, oh, I'm spending too much money to impress people, um, to give off an impression of who I am that is very generous, but A, can you afford it? And the thing with the trying to Saturn is I think that you'll have a little bit more authority over yourself when it comes to that. So in some ways, I feel like it's somebody that's probably trying to impress you um, by creating a fantasy for you that is not gonna be held up. Um, so that's just be discerning. Hold on. What do you got to tell Eber guy? There's a lot. We got a big, chunky reading. Now, the past. The past only comes out because I don't do past, present, future. I do what the fuck is going on, right? So, Libra, the past comes out when it is something that preceded and, and contributed to the now that you're having to deal with. Just so that you know. Sorry about that. I just needed some water, guys. Make your dreams real. Scorpionic energy could also be manipulation. Let it shine. So no, you were writing, working on something. This is about um this is about working, execution. This this is about like hard work. You were putting hard work into something. Um thinking about debuting it, thinking about sharing it. It could have been something that you wrote or some sort of communications that were that were coming out. People talking about it, being spotlighted, shining, letting l announcing it, letting yourself be known, uh letting it be known, <laughs> debuting the project, something like that or just a sense of um ideas or seeing, it could even be seeing in the dark and suddenly pointing out or calling it out, calling out, hey, I see what you're doing here. I see the I see the web. I see what you're weaving, right? Could have been that too. Um, and then we have uh, time for a beginner mind, which means this is this maybe have been a new situation. It doesn't mean the people are new, but you have the armor on you now to be clear minded about this situation and see things for exactly what they are so you don't put yourself at risk again. Um, and then we have be generous of spirit, take a leadership role, also be courageous, calling upon your courage to that Leo energy. Uh, remind yourself of what's important to you and who the fuck you are instead of, you know, falling for somebody else's bullshit. Trust in the magic. This is Aquarian energy. It's truth. It's magic. It's beauty. It's a new beginning. It's a new start. Almost in some ways, having earned the ability to be ready once you see the pitfalls or how this shit is constructed. Um, or like I said, debuting. Debuting something 
also because you're ready to. What is this? Know your worth is Aries energy. I feel like that's the key. This all happened in the past, but it was a sense of self-realization of I'm ready for this because I have value or a sense of value for myself that maybe I didn't in the past. And this is just being able to walk into the room and be who you are and like what you like. Also, it could have been calling out somebody for being a manipulative stinker because now you are ready. You're ready to see it. You're ready to see them new. You're ready to see them for who they are. And you're ready to realize that I don't have to, that it's not a reflection on me who you chose to be, right? Um, okay, so let's get to now. This could also be in some ways somebody who was new or newer, an Aquarian who was new or newer, trying to take a leadership role on a new project, but ultimately it was, um, and then in some ways, somebody not allowing you or your expertise to really shine through the way that it was supposed to. Um, be loyal to what you love. This is uh, family energy, Cancerian energy. Um, see the big picture, which sometimes we do. It's like when we're upset with how people treated us, it's connecting to our family and the people that matter the most to us in life. It's, it's, it's making our social circle smaller and, and uh, you know, blocking out all the crap around us. That is really essential. And then we have love is all around. This is Gemini energy. So finally being appreciated. It's through your loyalty and devotion to a certain purpose, project, thing, person, whatever it is. Um, and how you understood that there's a future for this. And I'm going to remain loyal to it because you really believe in the potential of it. Now there's a sense of an announcement or a lot of people listening to you, hearing you, and really appreciating what you do. And then we have be here now. This is Libra energy. They're singing the praises of you. They're starting to see, even if you're small, even if you're not the big fish in the pond, there's there's. There's people starting to talk about you and and buzz about you. Now, this is another thing when you think about the astrology. Just because they like what you do doesn't mean they know anything about you. This could even be fame in a way of some sort to some degree. And people are really starting to enjoy you and what you've produced. Libra, this is fucking incredible. And enjoy every second of it. But don't take it so seriously. Because people don't love you when it comes to fame or even recognition in terms of business and stuff. that's They don't love you. They love what you are doing for them and how you're making them feel, which is awesome because that's what you, that, you want that success. But don't take it so seriously. Ground yourself in your family and the people who are truly loyal to you. That's kind of why the universe is saying gather these people around and tighten your social circle to the people who feel like family, are family, and who really know you because there's sort of an explosion that's about to happen, which is awesome. But remember, it's only awesome if it stays healthy and you're going to want to balance out all that popularity and all that praise with real love and real connection because that's what's going to actually ground you and make it really fruitful and progressive, right? Instead of so big, you can't handle it. Tend to the small things. The devil is in the details. Um, also take care of your health. This could be a time of overindulging, overindulgences, especially with a, um, a square to Neptune. Um, um, over intoxicating yourself or, or eating things that are bad for you, like stuff like that. So um, make sure that you pay attention to what's good for you and what's healthy for you because there's something here that's building up. It could also be the fine print, okay? I love that you love me, but remember, read the fine print and have the people in your corner that you know are loyal to you and don't want anything but your happiness and your success because those are the people who are gonna fucking remind you, I love you, I'm psyched for you, but keep your head on straight and read that fine fucking print. <laughs> read it before you sign anything. 
uh, a rebirth is assured. This is a beautiful time. This is the time when you're actually coming out of the dark, being seen and riding in the light. This is a time when you sort of come into your full self. This is a week of real big beautiful energy almost like debut if I could like sum it up there's like a there's some sort of debut here it's fucking incredible guys this will this will start everything this five five is the energy of change changing you're leveling up it's almost like you're prepared for this now nobody is ever completely prepared for all of a sudden success but it's the grounding of a strong, loyal family unit and, and your sense of self. And this seems to be hitting you at just the right time for when you can actually handle this energy. Nothing is wasted. Aquarius energy. This is treasure in a trash heap. Um, also, it's like discovering who your real friends are. Watch that because it's discovering who your real friends are. And nothing is wasted is that... This had to do with a lot of crap that you had to go through. <laughs> Treasure in a trash heap is almost like my um, Slumdog Millionaire card. If you've ever seen that movie, if you've never seen that movie, see it. It's such an, it's so awesome. It's almost like a parable. It's somewhat, it reminds me of the kind of storytelling that you see in The Alchemist. <laughs> it's, it's like definitely not very thinly disguised moral of the story. Right, but it doesn't have to be because it's so fascinating and such and it's such a profound message. So see it, watch it. It's a fantastic film. A lot of people have already seen it because it's a very popular movie <coughs> for all the right reasons. Exceptional story, exceptional acting, phenomenal storytelling, just great. This is basically like you've been through a lot of shit. And if you've seen that movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you've been through a lot of crap in your life, but it's the shit that you've been through that now is what created the diamond you're about to be it's what created the diamond you are this is in all the crap that you went through there was a treasure and it's a treasure that comes from having to get on top of all that crap you went through so believe me when i say this is an absolutely beautiful time for you you know it could be in small ways but i'll tell you there's, there are ways, Libra, that will mean so much to you. This will touch your heart. You, this, this week will absolutely touch your heart. I have no question. And in a good way. If there's tears, there's tears of joy. Okay? Just don't be so overwhelmed that you lose sight of yo shit. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful and be grounded. I'm not trying to make you suspicious. I'm trying to remind you of who the fuck you are and that you don't have to oversell yourself or do an, pull an MC hammer. As soon as you make money, you give it all away. Stop. Have your investing firm and your fucking savings account ready because you deserve this. You earned this and you do not have to give it away. As soon, you don't have to give it away ever. This isn't, this isn't like a favor somebody's handing out to you. You've done the work for it. Um, ooh, I love this, baby. Shine, shine like the diamond, baby. This is in the spotlight, perhaps celebrity. It's being recognized. It's, it's a second time we've got Leo. It was, it was all new and maybe it's like you were certain of it in the past but it was new and other people weren't really willing to or couldn't really see it or accept it. But like I said, you invested in it because you saw the potential and the possibility. Well, guess what? Now everybody is attracted and can't keep their eyes off you. And then we have nine and four, two numbers, 94. First of all, does 94 or 49 mean anything to you? Or add it on up, 13, 13 ends up to be four. Yeah, interesting. Nine is you're almost there. There's some sort of completion. So you still have a little work to do, but you're getting something tangible and solid in front of you that makes you realize this. It's not like this is like maybe the week of the jackpot, but this is definitely when you level up and start playing on a different field. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like this is discovery. You, this is discovery of you by a, a level up crew. That kind of energy. Um, and it's tangible. Four means solid and certain. And it's, it's square. It's the, it's the 3D 
it's the um, the tangible. So this is this is like you can. It's almost like you can see the end in sight. It's almost like yes, this is guaranteed to you now. This is just a, a little bit more work that we have to do, but you can actually be encouraged, Libra, by the fact that the work that you do, you you're. The work that you do, you actually see the progress for. You it's suddenly, all of a sudden, holy shit, th this is working. Uh, before it was just faith, right? And and your your belief in something, but holy shit, this is this is really <laughs> this is really happening, and it is, and it will keep happening. Just keep following in faith and and continuing to believe in what you've already invested in because this is a really good investment, and and you're leveling up. Let's go to the extended because uh, I want the details and I'll see you guys over there.